pleasant day. So here is my report regarding the term paper of rearing of beneficial insects or microorganisms. I choose ladybird or commonly known as ladybug or lady beetle. Introduction. Ladybugs are belongs to family Coccinellidae. Almost 6,000 species of ladybirds are known worldwide. The ladybird adults are oval, range in length from about 1 to over 10 mm depending upon their species, and they have wings. Upon observing, females on average are larger than males. They have mandibles, their eggs are elongated oval, they has a great potential to use in biocontrol programs because of its generally predator that hunts for prey in many economically important crops. It preys on aphids, white flies, spider mites, and other plant damaging pests. Thus, it become possible as biocontrol agent. Sampling and collecting. Upon entering the field, I look for areas where lots of insects are present and try to collect beneficial control agent. In scouting, I found different organisms that can be used as BCA, like spider and ladybugs. I chose to collect ladybugs, ladybugs and put it in a plastic container. As what we can see in the picture, the weather the time was sunny and a bit windy. Adult stage, life cycle of the insect and my observation. These ladybird adults are oval, they range in length about 1 mm. The female I've collected are larger than the male. As we can see in the picture, they are brightly colored. I also cut the leaves and put it together with the ladybugs into the container. Egg stage. After two to three days, I noticed that there are some little tiny eggs in the leaves. There are about 20 or more when I count it. Larval stage. After four days, ladybug larvae emerge from their eggs. Upon observing, the ladybug larvae look somewhat like tiny alligators with elongated body and bumpy exoskeletons. They are black with brightly colored spots or bands. Ladybug larvae molds in four instars or larval stages before preparing to pupate. I give them food immediately after they emerge from the eggs. Pupal stage. The larva attaches itself to the leaf and is ready to pupate. In pupal stage, the ladybug is somewhat color yellow with black markings. Upon observing, the pupa remains still attached throughout the stage. After pupal stage, it takes seven days before it hatch. The newly emerged adults have soft exoskeletons and looks like vulnerable. They appear pale and yellow after they emerge but soon develop the deep bright colors for which ladybugs are known after two hours. Their cuticles began to harden and the spot began, began to appear. Adult, adult stage and second cycle. After two hours, the adult ladybugs become fully mature and reach its adult appearance. Egg stage and second cycle. The eggs, the, there are 11 exact number of eggs. They are tiny and color yellow. So in larval stage, after five days, they emerge into eggs. They are color block with bright color of yellow, elongated body, same as in the first cycles. So, dito po nagtapos yung ano, observation ko po sa life cycle ng ladybugs. Upon management naman po, after collecting ladybugs, I put it in a small transparent plastic container. When I got home, I put some of them in a jar with the leaves they are attached on. Upon, upon observing every stage of its life cycle, I take them, I take them out from, the, from their jar or container to take them a picture. Regarding, of, regarding to the feeding management, I put a wet cotton balls inside the jar or container for them to have drink. I also took a feeds white flies or any soft bodies insects in our backyard garden to feed them. Every day I give them food and check them as well. To avoid ants from attacking them, I put the jar and container in a plate with water. In other documentary, the knitting process it takes about twenty or more than minutes. The end thank you.